Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try out Cookout. Um, I've never been to Cookout before. It looks pretty good. They've got a pretty good sized menu, that's for sure. So I'm going to go through, uh, drive through. They have a walk up service too, where you can walk up and order. Uh, they say it's faster, but I'm just going to do th go through the drive through. So anyway, I'm going to set my camera up and take you with me. Um, yeah, I want one of your trays. Uh, regular barbecue. Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the um, now give me um, onion rings and hush puppies. And then um, can I get a regular shake, uh, the eggnog shake instead? That's it. It clearly was not her pleasure to serve me because she was talking so damn fast. She was like, blip, 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 blip. That's, that's, how, that's what I heard. So, anyway, she's in a hurry. <laughs> she wasn't rude. She was just very short and fast. And I've never been here before, so they sometimes they assume you know uh, what they're talking about when you go through drive throughs especially if you've been here a bunch of times. I've never been here before in my life, so I don't know. Hello. Hello. 741. You have water? Yeah, I've got a water, thank you. No, I didn't order a water, okay. no. Um, just regular, do you have just regular barbecue sauce or is I there, do. is there a straw in here? Is there a straw? Yes. Okay. Thank There's you. A straw and a spoon in there. Okay. Great. Thank have you. You too. Hey, she was much, well, at least that girl was much friendlier, um, than the girl that took the order. I'm just going to pull her right here. Okay, so here are the onion rings and the hush puppies. They're little small hush puppies and the onion rings are good. There's the sandwich. When she said the slaw, I thought it was, she was asking me if I want a slaw on the side. Again, if you don't, if you've never eaten here before, you don't know. She's asking me if I want slaw on it. Sounds good to me. I like coleslaw anyway. And here is the regular shake, which I had, I had to add a dollar to get the shake, but I already had a water and I love milkshakes anyway. So, so anyway, I'm going to get this turned around and then we'll try it out. I had to put my glasses on so I can see this. Um, and there's no, well, I can tell you what the total was. I think the meal was uh, $5.99. Pretty sure the tray was $5.99. I had a dollar for the milkshake, so it's $6.99. My total with tax was $7.41. So, uh, so you can get the, you can get everything I got here for $5.99. I think that's a heck of a deal. I mean, that's a good size sandwich. Um, and you get, there's not a ton of onion rings. There's only like four onion rings and um, a handful of hush puppies. So I don't, it's not a huge amount of sides. I think if I gotten french fries, I probably would have gotten more. They don't just, just don't give you many onion rings. I'm going to try the hush puppies first. They're like, they look like little corn dogs. Hmm. Those are actually really good. They remind me of yeah, napkin. They remind me of uh, uh, Long John Silver's hush puppies, except they're not as crisp. They're, they're um, the the coating on the outside is not as crispy as the Long John Silver's ones are. But the flavor reminds me of those. Try one of the small onion rings. Mm, hot. Those are good onion rings. They're um, they're good and crispy. They have a good flavor. The batter um, and the breading tastes really good. I did bring a water just to have to drink because milkshakes are really hard to drink when you're eating. I'm more drink it afterwards. Um, I like their onion rings. I like the onion rings better than I like the hush puppies. So now having tried them, I probably wish I'd gotten uh, onion rings and fries instead of the hush puppies, but it's fine. I'll eat them. Now the barbecue, I'm going to try the barbecue without um, sauce added to it just yet. I did ask for extra sauce. I like the flavor of just the barbecue itself. It's got a really good seasoning to it. You can tell they've cooked it really well. 
it's a little um, mushy, I guess is the best word for it. Um, it's very, I guess there's a lot of moisture in there, so it's a little soft. Um, that could have, no, I can't be imagine that being the coleslaw because I didn't have that much coleslaw on it. Here's the barbecue sauce. Um, this is what the packages look like right here. And uh, I'm just going to open it up. I'm just going to pour some on there. It's a very thick sauce, so that's good. So it's not going to run everywhere. That it's got a really good smoky um, uh, flavor to it. It's, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's also got a really good smokiness to it. It's um, it's not what I consider hot barbecue sauce, but it does have um, some seasonings there. There we go. I tell you what, the bread's very wet. I mean, not wet. It's very soft. I wonder if that's the slaw that didn't do that because I tried just some of the the pork by itself, and it wasn't like that. So if you want a a drier sandwich, you may want to get it without the slaw. I tell you what, I really like it with the uh, with the barbecue sauce. That is a really good sandwich. The um, If I were to get it again, I would not get the slaw because I think the slaw makes it um, the bread wetter and it wants to fall apart. Um, I would probably get fries instead of the hush puppies. Not that I think the hush puppies are bad, but they don't have like any onion or anything that I can tell. So I wish they had a little bit more flavor besides just like cornmeal flavor. Yeah, it's pretty much all I taste in there is this cornmeal. Um, but the onion rings are really good. The sandwich is really good. Definitely um, put barbecue sauce on it. I think you'll be really happy. I think they have different heats of barbecue sauce as well. So I think the whole meal as a whole for six bucks, which is a really good deal, um, I'm going to give it probably the way I ordered it, I'll probably give it a four. If I were to take the slaw off and gotten fries, I probably would have given it a five just to, just to go there. So anyway, I think this is a great place to try at least the barbecue. I know they sell hamburgers and chicken and all kinds of other stuff, but the barbecue itself is really, really good. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, you may have thought, um, I may have forgotten something. The milkshake. Yeah, that's a really thick milkshake. The good thing is they gave me a, I mean, wow, that's like, that's like a solid piece of ice cream. Luckily, I got it right here. Um, <laughs> it's like ice cream, soft serve. It's supposed to be eggnog. Mm. I really like the flavor of that. That's really good, actually. The uh, it's not super strong eggnog flavor. Here, tilt it up. Um, it's not a super strong eggnog flavor, but you definitely get the. You get the idea that it is eggnog. I think it's a good shake. I've had better eggnog shakes, but this is a good uh, eggnog milkshake. So the eggnog milkshake, I'd probably give, I'd probably give it a four as well. Cause it, it I wish the eggnog, the seasonings, the spices were a little stronger in there, but, um, but it's really good. It's really thick. So if you want to actually drink it out of the straw, you're gonna have to let it sit for a little while. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time.